Good morning, everyone. My lips are disappeared because there's foundation on them. I am doing a just kind of like productive day vlog. I've really fallen into the rabbit hole of watching these and usually when I'm feeling kind of blah in the afternoons, I can't just go like get a coffee because I'm at my job. But if it's during lunch, I don't have time for another coffee, I will just watch a productive day vlog and for some reason, it works. I'm not entirely sure why, but you know what? We're going with it. And I figured it would be kind of fun to do my own. So that is what I'm doing. We're going to first start with what I do very early in the morning, which is I always open up all of the windows and the blinds, and then I go and I make my bed. It's a mess uh, every single morning because we're a mess. I don't know. I don't even know. We're just tossing and turning and... <sighs> It's a lot. There's three blankets though that I have to organize and I really like the duvet cover that we got. I like it better than having just a normal comforter, but I put two duvet inserts in it to make it bigger and man, those are slip sliding around and I don't know what to do about it. So if you have any advice on that, I will take it. But yeah, I just make that and then it's nice and pretty. And then actually what I do next is a very smooth segue into the sponsor of this video because I have been using Function of Beauty face products recently and oh my goodness, you guys, my skin is actually so much clearer now. I am absolutely in love with it. So the first step to Function of Beauty skincare is filling out a super fast quiz over your skin type, your goals with your skin, all of that kind of stuff, which my goals, honestly, were really just to get some anti-aging going on and moisturize my skin, really, for the most part. And then within this quiz, you can also choose if you want your products to be fragranced or unfragranced, which is really nice for sensitive skin people. Another thing that I think is really, really cute is you get to choose the name that's printed on the bottle. I obviously, right now, just went with Olivia because I couldn't think of anything clever or witty or bookish related to do, but next time I'm definitely going to put some bookish names on there. I think it would just be really cute. So the offered products for this skincare line come in different formats suitable to your preference. Cleanser comes as a jelly and a gel, while moisturizer comes as a gel, lotion, and a cream. So really it's up to you of which of those you prefer. And a lot of products claim to be personalized and customized when they're actually only match your existing product. Function of Beauty custom blends a cleanser, serum, and moisturizer made just for you, your goals, and skin type. It's the world's most customized skincare for over 3.1 billion unique formula combinations have been made. Function of Beauty uses no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins, and it's 100% vegan and cruelty free, which is something that is very important to me because I am trying to get all of my makeup and beauty products and just everything I use to be animal cruelty free as well as vegan if I can find that. Hello, voiceover Olivia here to just say, because I forgot for whatever reason, that this has honestly cleared up my skin so much. As y'all can see, I do have a problem area on my chin and I can happily say it is definitely helping with that. So I 10 out of 10 recommend if you have stress acne for sure. So I actually have a limited time offer from Function of Beauty. You can get an extra 10% off a skincare bundle and a free selfie spa headband when you click on the link in my bio down below. So basically you'll get a total savings of 20% as part of this brand new launch. So if you're interested, definitely check it down below, see if it's for you. And yeah, that is my kind of third step in the morning routine. Thank you so much to Function of Beauty for for sponsoring this video and clearing up this skin. Next up, we have a couple of errands we have to run today. We actually had to go to the grocery store, but I did not do that. My partner did that with the ever praised HEB online curbside pickup. I swear to God, he loves that thing more than anything ever. And you know what? Don't blame him. But I do need to go pick up a prescription. And because my pharmacy right next to my house is a mess, I have to go about an hour away to do that. But this sounds so weird, but I'm actually not upset that I have to basically drive two hours for a prescription because 
I'm really enjoying the audiobook I'm listening to. I'm currently listening to It by Stephen King for Buddy Reads a Latte book club. So if you ever want to join that, the dis Discord is always down below, although I cannot always say it. And you can just hop on in. There's a bunch of different channels. We got all kinds of books. We have all the past books in there if you ever want to talk about those. I try to jump in there as much as I see people talking in there. And then we have the Stephen King read-alongs, which we have a bunch of those that are about to start happening, which is exciting. So that's what I need to do first. I'm probably gonna actually go make some coffee first though and then eat a breakfast burrito that my partner just made and then we will get into doing that. Also I need to do a bunch of booktube stuff. I want to record a couple tag videos as well as maybe another recommendations video. I'm not 100% sure on that one but I'm probably gonna do a cozy vibe book recommendations video and then uh, finally fallen cozy book tag. I know I'm late to them. I just don't care because I want to do them anyways So I'm going to do them and yeah, that's about it for right now. So let's go. Let's go make coffee That's always a fun time. We love an aesthetic coffee shot. So let's go do that Okay, so just picked up the prescription. Yay, happy for it. Obviously, I mean, it's for epilepsy, so we are happy to have it. Not epilepsy, the medicine. Anyways, I was listening to it, as you saw on the way here, and I am now 59% of the way through. I have 18 hours left. I can't remember how long this book is. Actually, I want to look at that because I feel... I think it's like something like 40 hours long of an audiobook, which is, oh, it's up there. Yeah, it's 45 hours long. So you know what? We're not doing too bad. So the goal is to try to get at least 60% of the way through this today, which is only one more percent. So I think we're doing good on that front. I also, while I was waiting for my medicine, organized my planner some more. So I'm probably going to do a spread today for all the to-do list things I have. So I'll show you that as well in this system of how I use this planner. Because I have two planners. I have the bigger one that I use the sticker kits in, which I show you guys in my weekly vlogs. But then I have this, which is my everyday, and it's also my wallet at the same time. So so I really just carry this and my phone around. I mean, I put it in a purse because this is a little big to just hold, but. And then the other thing, aside from all the filming I really wanna get done, I do wanna read some more of my current read, which is The Cheerleaders. This is a YA thriller mystery about the little sister of one of the cheerleaders who was in a group of cheerleaders that all died five years ago from when we're being told this story. And basically this girl is finding out more about her sister and her death and finding out that it may not have been what everyone says it was or what it seemed to have been so that is really cool i'm really liking ya mysteries lately i just feel like 
there's I really love the vibe and it's also kind of I think stemming back to like how much I love Nancy Drew I just love kids solving mysteries and you know taking down the bad guy and revealing the you know monster at the end of the story I just think it's such a cool and fun and kind of gives me nostalgic feelings and so that's why I'm also liking it a lot is because the group of kids there are a lot of stuff in this book that I'm like could have done without yes do I want to hear it was the time no because I don't care that it was the time it was still not okay to say so there's a lot of that the overall like group of kids taking down this vicious villain is just great I love that so I might also watch that this weekend but obviously not productive so we're not doing that today that's the goal I've already had one cup of coffee it's 10 30 and I'm thinking about having another one I'm you know out and about in the world I might get a Starbucks so I'm gonna actually text my partner and see if he wants anything plan now I just got done planning out December's video schedule so I'm going to be doing vlogmas but it's gonna be every couple of days I upload so the first second and third will be upload on the fourth fourth fifth and sixth will be upload on the seventh so on and so forth so with that I'm going to be pre-filming a lot of videos and putting them up to schedule and post when I don't have a vlogmas video going up and basically it's just gonna be a ton of videos in December also it's already a lot of videos because this year I really want to be good about getting all of my like end of year videos up in December and then all my planning and all my 2021 videos up in January I don't want to be posting end of year videos in hello random man I don't want to be posting random end of year videos in January I want to be on top of it so I'm getting on schedule and we're gonna be pre-filming some today yes I am pre-filming some December videos in October it's just what I need to do to get everything planned and go well so we're gonna be doing that we're gonna film a tag video that's gonna go up this Thursday and then yeah let's 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 go get some caffeine and sustenance so that I can keep this party going Okay, so I made it home. Ow! I just shoved my foot into my desk. That's not how it's supposed to go. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so I made it home and I did a bunch of work. Oh my god, I did a lot. A booktube work. So it was like fun, but I'm tired. And I feel like I did a lot though, so that's good. I wanted to show you kind of how I plan out my videos because I was trying to use that app. I can't even remember what it's called now. I think it's Notion or something. And I just, I need to wait till some people put out like tours basically of their Notion because I don't understand it. It's confusing. I don't, I don't get it. That's fine. I don't have to get it. I want to though, because I want to use it. But for now, I'm just using the old school apple calendar so i oh wow you can see the window but i organized all of these are videos and let me show you december i'm kind of focusing on getting december's layout done so then i can go in depth and i'll show you what i do in depth for video planning but this is uh what it looks like there's pretty much in the entire month there's pretty much a video going up every other day, if not every day. So like the first week, there's four videos, four videos, five videos, four videos, five videos. There's a lot of videos going up and I'm really excited for that. I think that it's gonna be really fun. I also am gonna be doing more of those journal videos because y'all really seem to like it, which is great because I absolutely adore doing those and I journal for a lot of books all the time so if I ever read a book and you want a review or you want a journal spread or literally anything I don't mind doing that so you can definitely request those like that it's not a problem just comment so I know but I wanted to show you guys how I plan my videos so for example I had a book of the month video go up and so I will have just this page and then this is all my uh, description. I've been trying, well I've been doing it for a couple months now, but I've like this sticky note so that I can keep doing the description well and all the answers are already in the description. I think I might add a 
kind of Q&A because I get questions about what camera do you use? What do you use to edit? Um, what's your rating system? So I think I'm going to have like a frequently asked questions down at the very bottom of the description, like where my discord and email information is so that you can always check there because I think that that would be really helpful to people who are maybe new to videos or want to be new to booktube and join and it's really easy you just have to have something to film but if you want like a starting point like I'm gonna put the answers down there so you don't even have to worry about commenting you can just see and be like oh thank you and keep going but with this let me show you one that's not um written on actually I'll just show you one that I've already done. I've already filmed, but this video is actually going to be a Vlogmas video, so gotta wait for it. But this is my book Rex based on coffee and genre. So what I did is I went on Instagram and I said, what is your favorite coffee order from anywhere? But a lot of people put Starbucks, which don't hate you for it. And then their favorite genre. So based on that, I would pick from that genre a book that reminded me of that coffee, whether it's like the aesthetic, the flavor, the like just what's in it. I don't know. It was fun. I really liked it. So I'm hoping to do more of those, but this is one that I did. And so I have the title here. For Vlogmas videos, I'm putting at the very top that it's Vlogmas. Let me make sure. There you go. And then I have film. I put plan, film, first round of edits, which people ask me all the time, how do you listen to audiobooks while you're editing? So I do rough edits, which is my first round of edits. And when you do a sit down video, at least on Final Cut and iMovie, you can really see where you're taking a pause or you're not talking. So I mute my computer and I listen to the um, audiobook in my headphones and I just cut all of those like blatantly obvious places where I'm not saying anything or I'm not making a facial expression that I'm supposed to like zoom in on and that's why I'm quiet. It's just obviously and it, it honestly cutting down those things and this is a huge thing that I hate about in my videos. I don't know why but I think that my camera quality since I've been using a camera and not my iPhone anymore, dear lord. I can hear every single time I like <gasps> and I take a breath and it's not even like I'm out of breath it's just that normal breath that you take while you're talking I don't know why but it bugs me so much it doesn't ever bother me in anyone else's videos I never notice it in anyone else's videos but in my videos I'm like you have to go so there's a lot of that so maybe this is not like something a lot of people would do when they edit their videos, but that's what I do. My first rounds, I multitask, listen to some audiobook while I just cut out like breaths or different takes that I didn't like. Although I don't really do a bunch of takes of my videos. Like if I mess up, I just restart my sentence. But to be honest, I haven't really met, like I've messed up, but sometimes it's funny and so I just leave it in. But Usually it's the pauses that I take out and then I'll do my final edits which is when I turn off the audiobook and then I actually like listen to what I'm saying. I add in pictures of the book, I add in any kind of voiceover or zoom in or crop or anything like that. And then I create my thumbnail which I use Procreate for my thumbnails now and then I schedule the video to go up. Usually I post the video unlisted and then as soon as I'm finished editing it whatever video it is, no matter how far, like some of these Vlogmas videos are probably going to go out on my Patreon in November and they're not going to be up until mid-December. But I just, every single time I finish a video, I just post it on there because it's a perk. I feel like that's, I, I, my perk is that you can get like at least one a month, but I'm like, let me just put all of them up there and like as soon as I'm done with them. And that's why I have to have this calendar spread because when they're unlisted, you can't like schedule when they go public. So I have to just remember to make them public. And let me tell you, I've forgotten a lot to make them go public. And then in this square down here is where I put either what I want to say in the video, if it's a sponsor, what um, facts and stuff I got to say about them. Uh, usually book recs, like I'll put, I put the drink and I put the genre that the person liked. And then I put the book that it is. And then... I have one for a book tag that I'm going to do in December and then where is here. So like with my new journal videos, I'm going to start writing proper reviews on them and structure those reviews a lot more. So essentially it's I'm reading 
a book review I would have written for my blog because I don't know if y'all know but I started out with a book blog and then went to bookstagram and then went to like where I am now with booktube and bookstagram back and forth but I really miss my blogger days I feel like it was so cozy and fun and just kind of like screaming into the void but in a good way so 2020 is screaming into the void in a bad way so I'm trying to bring back the good way so I'll have what the book is and it's this one's legend born journaling review which this one went up if you want to watch it I'll link it then I write the summary I was going to just read the summary on goodreads but sometimes I find with fantasy books especially, sometimes it's nice to go into it not knowing all of the stuff they tell you in the summary because I feel like with some of the summaries, they're not spoilery, but I'm also a person that thinks that movie trailers are spoilers, so I just prefer to give my own summary, especially after I've read the book, I can actually give one. So I've started to write those out properly. Like I, this would be the first paragraph of my review. And then down here in this box, I put a couple bullet points of things I wanted to talk about. And so for opening scene, that's all that's there because I already knew what I wanted to say about the opening scene. I like to leave this pretty open so that I can add anything that I want to say in it in case, I, I don't know. I want it to sound structured when I give the summary, but I don't want it to sound too like, and then they went to the school and it was so cool <laughs> you know what i mean like i don't want to sound like a really uncomfortable student giving a book report i want it to sound more relaxed and like we're just talking about a book over coffee kind of feeling so then i have the next bullet point is setting characters plot twist and sometimes i'll write like just little notes next to those if there's a specific part of the setting i want to talk about like so the setting in legend board is really cool in general but i really specifically liked the light academia aesthetic because i haven't seen that in a book before so i wanted to make sure that i included that also i want to make sure that i slow down my talking because oh my god i think this venti coffee just hit like I'm trying to put this insert back in my planner. My hand's like, okay. <laughs> Anyways, so that's what I just got done there. Now I'm probably going to do that spread that I was talking about in, oh, hello, in my other planner. So this planner just for reference because also, if you think planners are boring, I'm very sorry, but I get a lot of comments that want me to show more planner stuff, so that is why I'm showing it. Also, I get very excited about planner things, so I ramble and I talk about them a lot. If you want to skip my feelings, I'll never know, unless you tell me. I mean, if you want to tell me, okay. But <laughs> this is my planner. Essentially, it's memory keeping. I just ordered some more inserts to actually organize this better. So I'll have a calendar section, which I hope to use for videos. And my goal with that is to put flat page flags down, kind of like what I use to annotate my books, but I'll write on them. And that'll be a video that I write on, but I want them on movable sticky notes so that I can move all of the videos around depending on like deadlines and when I just want the video to go up versus when I think it's gonna go up and then pin because I like the clean look of a sp uh, calendar spread but I don't like all the scratching out which I tend to do because sometimes I don't feel like filming a video or I come up with a really random video idea on the fly and so that's what I'm doing but I have my booktube stuff I have booktube notes in here and then I have all my journal notes at the back then I have my weekly I have my plant tracker my coupon code tracker because I buy a lot of planner stuff and I like to keep track of the rep codes also for some bookish like candle shops and stuff. And then I have, oh, a fitness log, which I think I'm gonna do a, another Chloe Ting workout today. And then I have a finance section because I am very anxious all the time. And for some reason, <laughs> balancing a checkbook really calms my anxiety. I know I sound like an 85 year old person in a 25 year old body when I say that and it's the weirdest thing because I don't know a single other person. I think in my life whether they're older, younger, or the same age as me that keeps a checkbook to balance but I don't know. It's something about it. It, it just makes me feel like I have it together so I do it. Then I have this which is my everyday, my EDC if you're in the planet community. Hello LGBT community. So then I open it here. Actually, you know what? Let me set this down and I will just show you guys my planner because I did get, this is a new one. Actually, I don't think I've shown you this one because the other one I had was a Foxy Fix. This is a Moterm. So let me show you my Moterm because 
it is so cute and i will link all of this down below that i can remember i use a lot of freebies so honestly i'll have to search but i will keep updating the description as i find them but yeah i highly recommend planner instagram it is a rabbit hole you will fall down so be careful and the consumerism is rampant but you know it's cute so and there's a lot of freebies too so let's look. this is the everyday it's what I really like about this one is there's two of these. So based on how chunky your planner gets, you can put it there and you have a lot more room as you can see, or you can do it here, which is the one I use currently. But then you open it up right here is a place where I keep my cash, which I don't really have a lot of that on me ever. But if I do get some, I just put it in there. Then we have Jake because of course we do. Then we have some washi because I'm obsessed with it and I made another washi card I didn't need. Here's some stickers. I just liked these because they go with this picture. I do use them, but I don't use this single row so that it can show and go with this. I know that's so silly. Then I have some of my cards. I had this in my Barnes & Noble membership credit card I use and then my driver's license. And then this is the monthly section. So I don't have November mapped out, but like this is what this looks like and then this was what I was attempting to do for a spread but it doesn't look good so I'm gonna have to get a bigger one or use my iPad I guess but then this is a plain one I think this is better for school or I guess work because every time I say school people think I'm still in college and sadly I'm not <laughs> so this is a new couple dashboards I got this is this new one that I got or uh, for affirmations in the morning and I just I put it in front of my to-do list because I just like the way it looks and I also like having this little positive thing to look back on. But here are what my daily spreads look like. This is all work. I know it's so boring, but this is what it looks like before. So I have an hourly and then I have priorities, checklist, notes. This is what I use for work, like what I absolutely need to get done at work. This is what I use for just minor to-do lists that usually they shift from day to day. And then here is what I do for booktube to-do list. So I'm going to make one of those. But I haven't filled this out so I can show. Mm, no. But that's the back. And then, yeah, that's all I can show because the other stuff has information of, like, bank accounts and stuff. But, yeah. These are the spreads I use. And they're just really, I don't know, they're simple, but they're nice. Like, I really like them. So, uh, yeah. That's what I have there. Oh, look, at, I got this new vellum. It looks, so, not vellum, acetate. It looks so good. But I'm going to have to do my Christmas setup soon, so I will do another flip through when that happens. But yeah, uh, I hope that wasn't <laughs> too boring. And if it was, hi, skippers. I'm ha glad to see you back. How are you? But yeah, I absolutely adore this. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. So I got inserts for my 2021 setup, which are just the same inserts I'm using in the other planner, but I got some monthly ones as well. And I just got them because I didn't want to keep printing off a bunch of my own because I don't like, pr I like the quality of these ones better, but I also got another planner, which I got this on the buy sell trade, so it was cheaper, but it's one of the colors that is super hard to get a hold of really sold out it's called enchanted indigo and it's just absolutely beautiful this is going to be my 2021 setup so the black one i think is more fallish this one just gives me january vibes and i'm very excited to have it so i'm gonna start printing out stuff once i get my dashboards and i'll set this up but that will not be in this vlog because i think those dashboards are gonna take a couple more weeks to get to me so I'll show it in probably a vlogmas video, honestly. But yeah, if y'all have any questions about planner stuff, definitely just leave it down below because I have no problem talking about it. As you can see, we're going on 20 minutes for this update. But other than that, gonna make that spread. I'll show you afterwards. And then I think I might lay down, honestly, because it's... Well, it's 2.48 p.m., but I don't want to have a third cup of coffee, so I might just... I do this thing when I don't want to commit to a nap where I just lay in my room with my headphones in and I listen to an audiobook, 
Sometimes I fall asleep, so it's really weird to wake up in the middle of a book, especially a horror book, because sometimes you'll wake up and the narrator is just screaming, and so you're like, hello, good morning, what's happening? Uh, I don't really want to do that with it because I feel like I would have a nightmare. Maybe not, maybe I won't do that, maybe I'll put on like a middle grade book or something, but yeah, I will let you guys know. We just got our HelloFresh box in, so we're going to be making that today, so I'll put some clips in of that and maybe maybe some pumpkin bread is in our future i might put that in here too we'll just have to see we'll just but yeah i am going to force myself to stop doing work now i'm gonna actually chill out on a saturday and read this or maybe fall asleep who really knows i guess we'll find out i, I will update you but i for sure i'm gonna go take all this off so yeah let's let's go take the makeup off and then we'll see where the wind takes us. Okay, so hello. <laughs> I ended up laying down and uh, didn't wake back up. So <laughs> it is actually the next day, but you know, it is what it is. I did a lot of productive stuff beforehand. I got all that footage sorted out, put into its place. Uh, I'm gonna start editing some of them today, but that is in the weekly vlog. Uh, I'm not gonna make this vlog multiple days because I just feel like it would be too long for just a productive vlog, if that makes sense. It doesn't make sense, but oh well. Yeah, um, that's that's it. That's my productive day. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that was interesting or not, but hopefully it was motivating in a way because they motivate me a lot. So I hope that it motivated you. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. Anyways, I, I am gonna go do all those edits and I'm gonna get this video ready to go up then I'm probably gonna write my patreon letters so that's just a little add-on so I'm just gonna keep the progress going I will say yesterday though I did get pretty far into the cheerleaders I'm about to finish it actually I only have about 60 pages left but that will be an update that I put in the weekly vlog because you'll be seeing the weekly vlog before you see this so that would be why but yeah that's what I got for you I hope that this gave you any kind of motivation any kind of what to do to help organize or uh, what not to do you know any of it and thank you so much for watching thank you so much to function of beauty for sponsoring this video make sure y'all check out the description down below for the link and the limited time offer and I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. If you want to leave a comment, we'll do a blue heart to match the dead cheerleader's skirt. What a sentence. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.